Hey everyone, so I'd like to share a potential new design trend for website navigation that I've recently noticed in modern websites. And I'm going to share five examples of this type of navigation that lets the user focus on the content. And then at the end, I'm going to share a digital product that I've been working on showing you the standard nav versus the new potential nav. So the first example is Motto. And if you scroll down, you can see straight away the nav just dynamically changes. So you have the logo mark and then you have two main CTAs. And the nice thing about this is that you can just focus on the content. You've got the main heading, you've got text. You don't have the nav distracting you. However, if you want access to the nav, you can just click XO Ape. So if you scroll down, you can see very subtly you get the logo mark on the top left. And again, you've got access to the menu. So here again, you scroll, you've got a really nice experience because there's just so many distractions. You've got notifications, you have your phone. But now here you're just gravitating towards focused content. Cosmos, so if we scroll down, you can see it changes the form or it has a new form, which is enter your email. Scroll back to the top. And this is just a really nice, smart, dynamic way. This is like Dynamic Island. So a diagram, if we scroll down, you can see the nav just changed this really nice, snug glass nav. And I scroll back to the top. They have the logo on the left and then the login on the right. Now, Sammy, if we scroll down, you can see they remove all the nav and you just have the main CTA at the top, which is the get the app. And same focus lets the user just focus on the content. Now I'm going to share an example in Framer that I've been working on. This is a digital product uh, Framer template. So we're going to preview this. And when you scroll down, you can see that it changes to the logo mark and just two main nav items. And here you can just focus on the content again. You can see it's very subtle, but I think it's nice and smart and focused. So if we go back, I'm going to switch this to the standard nav. I'm just going to remove that effect. And if we demo this again, so here is not too bad. We have it sticking at the top, but you can see that there is some a bit of distraction with the nav. And is it really necessary to show both logo items? So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this potential new trend? And thinking about a name, potential name could be Focus Nav. So if you can think of an alternate name, also let me know in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.